Lesson 31 is an article I wrote back in uh, December 2002 on the 11th titled Incredible Argentina Debt Free Question Mark where I explain how all those local currencies managed to eliminate all the internal debt in the country and I predicted they'd pay off their external debt faster too. So what is the lesson of let's success in Argentina? Well, we all heard about the fairs with 10,000 broke people at a time coming down to register for some time trading tokens to get started working off their debts. <clears throat> the deal was, they said, hey, we will lend you a hundred of our creditos if you promise to pay them back with goods or services or money. And everybody said, okay. Then we heard of the 8 million poor people using it out of some 30 million people with to do 80% of the nation's commerce. Something didn't add up until now. <clears throat> now Reuters tells us that when farmers found out that their IOUs for tons of grain were not only accepted by millions of time trekkers, but also by Ford, GM, Monsanto, who now had no choice or they would have zero business at all, it was not the quaint injection like in Ithaca, New York of hours, small amounts, but it was a where every member got four hours worth of money. It was a big injection with farmers injecting grain dollars into existence in thousand hour bills. Having those huge thousand hour notes trading around in circulation has to have had a vast liberating effect on all business. Because Ford, GM, Monsanto have cashiers for farm dollars down at the dock, if you sell them something of yours that no one else is buying right now for a note worth a grand in grain, you can now use that grand in grain to settle your negative debts right now because anybody can go down to the dock and have it settled there. For instance, here's how the cancellation happens. Let's say that you're coming to meet me to pay me a hundred bucks you owe me. And uh, I happen to be meeting you at the same restaurant where I'm going to meet another guy. I owe a hundred dollars to 10 minutes after you show up. So you show up and you say, John, geez, I'm sorry. I don't have your hundred bucks. And I'm going, oh no, the other guy's coming. I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to have to do a song and dance. I ain't got no money to pay him. And now the other guy comes in. And before I can start explaining why I can't pay him because you didn't pay me, you go, hey, Jerry, you owe me a hundred bucks. I say, what? He owes you a hundred, you owe me a hundred, I owe him a hundred. Jeez, what can we do? Well, a buddy can come by and say, John, no problem, here's a hundred bucks. I say, thanks. Jerry, all settled up, here's your hundred bag. Or a buddy could come by and say, I ain't got the cash, John, but let me write you a check for a hundred. I give it to me, I give it to him, he gives it to you, you give it to me, the debt is settled. Then he says, aha, my check's no good. Uh-uh, ah, the debt's not settled. Or is it? The point is, I could have written my own check, given it to you, given it to him, back to me, all canceled out. Who needs to have anything backing it up other than my word? So that is what happened. All these provinces were dumping all these interest-free currencies into circulation. No one could profit by putting it in the bank to get interest. The only great thing you could do with a load of money in your wallet was pay off your debts. And in the way that we three could cancel our debt if we knew about it, we could cancel our internal debt if we had enough money too. Well, having all that money dumped into circulation canceled all the local debt. And here's a little story I wrote to explain it to people. Say the restaurant is behind to the butcher for 10 grand. Who's behind to the delivery man for 10 grand. Who's behind to the gasoline man for 10 grand. Who's behind to the trucker for 10 grand. Who's behind to the tire man for 10 grand. Who owes the heating man 10 grand. Who owes his contractor 10 grand. Who's behind to his mother's nursing home for 10 grand. Who owes his laundry man 10 grand. Who has a tab with the restaurant for 10 grand for his daughter's wedding last month. Worse. Their accounting departments are all adding interest on due amounts at the end of the month, and they're all chasing each other. Total interest on 100000 due at the end of the month will keep owing everyone more and more and more. In walks Mr. Letts Farmer, who wants a $10,000 wedding for his daughter, but he's got no pesos. He's only got a 1,000-hour check for ten grand American worth of grain down at the dock, where an hour's ten American. What should the restauranter do? 
Well, if the restauranter takes the time, Credito, he can hand the butcher the ten thousand dollars, the ten grand farmer's credit, who can have, pay off the ten grand of the delivery man, who can pay off his ten grand of the gas man, who can pay off his ten grand of the trucker, who can pay off his ten grand of the tire man, who can pay off his ten grand of the fuel guy, who can pay off his ten grand of the contractor, who can pay down the ten grand of his mother's nurse, who can pay off the ten grand of the laundry person, who can pay off the restauranter for his daughter's wedding. Hundred grand in debt paid off, and no one is chasing nor being chased for growing debts. Let sure does result in give us this day tomorrow's bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Heaven on earth, escaping the loan sharks. That's how alternate community currencies reduce internal debt. That's the benefit. Those big note farm dollars are clearing up Argentina's internal debts, even if no one else is issuing small note dollars, leaving the banks to wither on the vine. No more vig to the money lenders for farmers credit. The middlemen's been cut out of the game. All pesos go to pay off debt. Creditos for business. Incredible, isn't it? They went from rioting in the streets in 2001, last year, to farmers now trying to grow as much as they can, with the whole community helping them trade under maximized production. How many people in Argentina who went broke do you feel they're personally still in trouble if they're working for a farmer or a business that takes time credits? And each nation adopting the time standard of money can trade with Argentina, and both get strengthened by the payment off of their internal debts. Debt liberation with big chips. That's how it's done fastest with the magic of alternative community currency. And don't forget the wonderful effect of all those 11 government-backed currencies that people can use to pay taxes with. Best IOU of all is a government IOU you can pay taxes with. If we don't get it fast in Canada, I'm boning up on my Granada, my accordion, and get me and my accordion down there. I'll take time creditos too. Adoption of the time standard of money solves everyone's problems. Now, short aside, this was later on in the month of December 2002 where I could announce Argentinians pay taxes in time creditos. I took a surf over to Red Global Truckee System in Argentina at this address online at truckqueenlinea.com.ar, which led to two links, one of which is the holy grail of the community currency movement. That's when your local currency is so stable a receipt for collateral, so inflation-free and acceptable everywhere that even government has to accept it as legitimate money, actually better than gold. In all my years of lobbying governments to not only accept it, but borrow some interest-free community currency and use it yourselves, I've never heard of more than token use, like a few town services, or even transit like in Calgary, Alberta, but never the ultimate payment of taxes. I've always said that once people pay their taxes with a piece of paper, that becomes the best piece of paper in the game. Their homepage highlights this most important development of all. So, uh, it's Payment of Municipal Rates in Creditos, published on the 17th of November 2002, at this truck, truequeenlinea.com.ar. So, it basically says that it will be possible in the country to cancel your municipal taxes in credits, goods, and services. This is the first of many agreements to come. Wow, I said it sounds like it'll be possible to pay off municipal taxes to municipalities of all the country in credits, goods, or services. This is the first of many agreements to come. Hmm, add to it the fact they report 11 government issuing their own stable community currencies, provincial currencies, and I'll wager Latin America will lead the way to financial freedom. 2002, I'm predicting Argentina pops into financial freedom. So, then the guy continues, in the press conference of November 8th, I signed the first agreement of cooperation between a private company, Coramet, and the APAR to serve to the municipalities of all the country and to obtain in return the cancellation of municipal taxes that our associate, pay, our associate paid in credits, goods, or services. Yay! So people bank their credits, the association transfers them to the government, and pay, taxes are paid. Sounds like they opened an account for the government. That's all. Wow.